Mixing up some spray for fly control on the cows. I hadn't showed the chickens. This is my, my flock. I have four hens and a roo. And they let, get let out in the pen early mornings and then they get let out to free range later in the afternoon. Headed to the Nashville airport this morning to fly out for work. I get to go to Milwaukee this week. Well, just today, it's Monday, and I'll be home late tomorrow night. I should finish up and be able to catch my flight and get home probably late tomorrow night. E is supposed to do some videoing today. Um, I don't know how much video he will do. But let's get our week started, y'all.
Guess what time it is? Saturday morning checks. Good morning, girl. Oh, no, I got you zoomed in. There we go. That's better. Today we can get all the cameras up in the We're all right here. There's 58, still no baby yet, but she's really, really close. She should be. Definitely being a good mama. Number six. Must be bath time this morning. <laughs> Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Nope. It's not. <laughs> Can you drop the keys? Mm. Filling up some water to give to the cows. Good morning, ladies. We're getting them some fresh water. We try to keep them fresh water up here because there's so many geese around this farm that that pond is not it's not really uh, I wouldn't want to drink it I wouldn't want to step in it actually but anyway we want we always try to make sure that they've got fresh water to drink it's doing 46 Fresh water. I'm out here doing some fence repair. Came to check on 58, who is over there, kind of by herself, but over here still with the moms. She's got some kind of discharge, so maybe she's pretty imminent. We hope. She doesn't look exactly comfortable. 
I'm gonna go around the fence some and do some checking and then come back over and check on her again after we're we're finished. insulators on the insulator has slid out and that was one reason that we had a bad reading on our finch charger this morning so we're trying to fix those or I am he is gone to help out a neighbor see like that one it has almost come all the way out So let's get that in and then tighten up the insulator. These posts are fairly old, starting to rot and split. So we're gonna have to start thinking about replacing some fence posts, I'm afraid. This one goes on that post, but it's all the way down here. so hot but it's only 86 degrees but it, you can't hardly breathe out here who loves a good storm sitting outside watching a good storm roll in I love it it's one of my favorite things in the bat wing. Grease in it. Hmm? Grease in it. Grease in it.
And good night. I don't think I've showed the doggies. There ain't Nala. Show Freya. And Shotzi. And Luna. Happy Sunday. Morning checks. We got some rain. Oh, it's just calves up in the corner. There's a baby down there. So 58. Did she catch? Right, she did. I think she was in labor yesterday afternoon. Did she? Her. Yep. Well, is it another bull? Yep, it's a new baby. It's another bull. <laughs> so six bulls and only one heifer this year. Looks like it from here anyway. There's some turkeys. Yeah. I bet she had him late yesterday afternoon. Hi, little fella. Got a little bit of rain. There's the new baby. We have been working on moving cows from over here. The Magnificent Seven is going over to the other farm. I haven't done a lot of filming or any filming of this because uh, too many bad words are flying. If you've ever worked with cattle, you know why we eat them. <laughs> but we finally got the last crazy one on. She was she was definitely a, uh, a challenge to get her on, and uh, we've got four calves left, so she's on there with three calves. And uh, one more trip, get these fellas loaded up, and then we're gonna bring the heifers and everything from the older animals from over at the old farm and bring them over here to get them weaned. They're long past due of getting weaned. But uh, I guess better late than never. So far, so good. Nobody's gotten severely hurt. E did get kicked, but uh, obviously it didn't hurt him. So we did something yesterday. We got six more heifers. In addition to our five heifers that are in the barn there. The 
Get ready for fall, y'all. Got the mums out. Some of them over there starting to, to bloom. We got some pumpkins. Got the car hearts out. What you doing? Mixing up some fly spray. Get rid of those pesky problems. The flies are me. <laughs> I don't think this will get rid of you. <laughs> I think it just caused a doctor bill. You'd have done that a long time ago if, if that's all it took to get rid of me, huh? Maybe I put a little more in there. So he turned the heifers out that we were weaning. There's one of the new ones, the one with the blue seven in its ear. Of course, one of the Hereford crosses. He's trying to get the rest of them out of the out of the barn. He's doing some fly spray on them while while he's doing it. So we had a family member that was that sold their farm and had some heifers that they had kept, and they didn't have a place to keep them, so they wanted to sell them. So we bought six more. So there's one of them. Anything with a pink or blue tag is new to here. She's one of ours, as is that one. And the one that's still in there that he's trying to get, oh, two that's still in there. They're not wanting to leave the barn. Couple button heads over there. <laughs> They'll figure out how to get along. Right. Two more over there. The number, the little one, seven. The one that's acting so stupid. One following. Oh. So the red ones all had names when we got them. 
We've got honey bun cookie and cupcake. But I don't know which one's which of those. I think the the closest one here is honey bun, but I can't can't remember. And then we've got brownie and little girl. And then the little blue seven didn't have a name. They're all gonna have to butt around and figure out who's in charge over here. Every animal has a pecking order. We brought these girls a bigger tank over here for their fresh water. I think they appreciate it. Almost looks like it's gonna rain. The magnificent seven's new home. He messing with the gate. Sorry if that was too loud. <laughs> Got that on video. He's going out to check her mineral. So the Magnificent Seven's over here and number 58, the last one to calve. When we closed off this front field, her calf was, was up here and so we got her turned in here with it. But they're all in the trees back there. We're gonna, giving them a little bit of water because all they have here is the in this front field and we didn't know if if they had ever been around a water good morning babies there's one two three four Magnificent Seven and the regular herd. Well, they're protesting this morning for sure. Gonna do some fly control on these guys as they come through the gate if they come. Go meet your new ladies. Mm. He's singing a song to his ladies. He's gonna go mow some hay today. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but uh, doing a little hay cutting. It's a little short, but it needs to be 
cut, especially this John's grass for it is that good. Some of it already is. But I got stray kids that I might like to I like the tractor videos. sent me out here to check on the heifers make sure they hadn't pushed somebody through a fence gotten out they seem to be doing just fine one in the mineral over there dusty we just use a pair of ice grips to hold the feed bag your beast holding holding on to the bag and getting covered in dust first thing in the morning this is for all the grandkids that's watching if I ever need you to help me Help me bag feed. Here's how you tie the bag. Take the finger in between your two, the, the string in between your two fingers, like this. Get the bag, get the neck, take it around once, under your hand, over the string, pull it tight. Same way again, under your hand, over the string, then take underneath your finger and pull it through and pull the other string where it's tight. That way all you gotta do is pull this, pull this string. 
I've been taught I'm wrong this whole time. <laughs> then it don't come loose. Unless you want it to. Got the chickens out. They're eating their their worms. They got water. They got food. We'll let them out to free range later this afternoon. I have found that if I let them out too early in the morning to free range, then I don't have as many chickens at the end of the day as I had at the beginning. I can build the water. Oh, yeah. um, we got it cut, and then you see the tobacco barn's full. That's not our tobacco. Not our tobacco. About, it's just about full. Uh, we're going to probably try and square bale some of this hay. We need, some, we need some square bales just to, to feed calves or we've got something in the barn or just something handy. We don't have any square bales right now. Too bad YouTube's not television because that hay smells so good. There's not a lot of hay out there but it's it's going to be pretty decent quality. time at the zoo. Fergie's in the lead. Hi, babies. Yeah. Good girl. All the heifers are looking good. Flies are not so bad today. Got them sprayed yesterday morning. No. My little nine. 